Hey everybody, my name is Alex, and I know it's been a while. I've had a crazy start to 2024, uh, but I am going to be releasing my first tool for subspace, which is called Plot Report. So I've been seeing a lot of questions in Discord about how good does the CPU do? How fast is that CPU? Should I do four disks? Should I do two disks? Uh, well, this hopefully will help solve that if we can get enough people contributing their plot speeds. And there's a few different ways I'm hoping that you'll be able to contribute your plot speeds. One is there are two Discord members right now that I know of that have a monitoring slash like script for subspace. Uh, one is by Wolf Rage, the other is by RS underscore zero zero, I believe. Let me just double check to make sure. Yes, that is correct. Uh, there's some scripts and I'll link them in the description. I'm hoping they will add functionality. This doesn't exist as far as I know, and I don't, uh, you know, obviously I have no idea if, when they're gonna add this, but my hope is that they'll have an option for users to self-report their plot speeds. Uh, that would be very helpful. Uh, what, would, what we would need is just the uh, a randomly generated unique ID the operating system, CPU, platform, sectors analyzed is basically what's the pool of sectors that we're getting the uh, minutes per sector uh, calculated from, and then the number of disks. And wh why we do sectors analyzed is because if you only have 10 sectors you're looking at, it may not be as consistent and reliable as someone that has like 250 sectors plus uh, because you're getting a, a larger pool of data there. So. Um, Anyways, this uh, site, it's uh, plotreport.hakedev.com. I'm going, these are all so far just my setups. I have a bunch of 7950X, and by that I mean just four. Uh, and then I have my laptop, which you see with the 5900HX. I have a few Intel CPUs that I'm not really using for subspace, but I'm gonna throw it at NVMe in there and test it out just to add some data to this. But if you want to contribute your speeds and you don't want to run one of those monitoring scripts or maybe they don't implement a way to get it, you can check out my GitHub here and I have a script called plot report and plot report will basically analyze the script file, look at the sectors plotted, calculate your plot speed, grab some data about your system like the OS, uh, number of disks, the platform you're using, so if it's Docker, Advanced CLI, or Space Acres, uh, it'll grab that from a log file. So I have some examples here. I talked a little bit about how to run it, and I'm going to go over a quick installation for Linux using Docker. I also have Space Acres. We'll see how long this video is getting. I may not do uh, the Space Acres one, or I may make it a separate video on, all on its own. But the idea is if we can get enough people to run the script and submit their data, then we'll be good to go. We'll have tons of uh, information. We can make informed decisions on which CPUs that we want to use. Um, there is some information missing probably. Like for instance, I don't have version. I don't know which version. I am gonna add date that the data was submitted, but I don't have a version. Uh, which could, you know, if if you know like older versions in like 3G, they didn't have really optimized NUMA stuff, which I, I don't know anything about it, but that was more optimized and people have more, like the default settings work better. So I think a lot of people saw better speeds in like 3H uh, releases. So having a version on there could be useful. I'm going to see if maybe we can get it added to the log files so that we know what version it is, I can pull it from the script. But anyways, there's more information that as time goes on, it's very easy to add new data to this uh, this website and the back end is very easily modified. So most likely we'll continue to add new information to this and people will just have to either update, uh, run a new um, plot report script or uh, update it in some other way. But anyways, Let's just do a quick run through of, oh, one more thing. Uh, I do these tools for free. Um, I think this will be helpful for a lot of people. All I ask is check out my YouTube channel. I have tons of videos on subspace. I've got videos on space mesh. 
I love cleaning old GPUs. So I have some videos on uh, cleaning GPUs in here. If you're just looking for, you know, something to put on in the background. Um, all I really ask is just give me a subscribe, maybe like a few of my videos. And uh, that really is motivating and helps me kind of continue to build tools like these for everybody to use. So that's all I ask. And let me move on to the next thing, which is let's just do a quick example of what the script looks like if you want to contribute. So I have some instructions in here, but let's bring up my Termius. And I've got my echo server up here. And let's see, LS, cool. So I just have the folders here. I'm gonna actually install this just to the home directory. We're gonna use git clone. If you don't have git, you can uh, do sudo apt install git to get git on uh, Ubuntu. I know a lot of people have Windows. I'm gonna be coming out with more comprehensive Windows instructions, especially for space acres. Uh, so keep an eye out for that if I don't fit it into this video. So let's grab the, if we go back to here, we can uh, click this code drop down, click HTTPS and just copy it, or you can just get it directly from uh, the, the readme file here. Let me paste this in here. It's gonna clone the project and you're gonna see there's now a folder called plot report. I'm gonna CD into plot report and now we have the files here. Uh, what we're going to want to do is create a virtual environment. That way we can install the dependencies without messing up the operating system. So I don't think I have Venv installed. So I'm just going to do Python 3 uh, dash M Venv and then dot V and V. And that's going to basically create my virtual environment. But I don't have the, the uh, Python 3.10-vend installed, so I'm going to do sudo apt install and get that installed real quick. All right, we're going to get the virtual environment installed, and now we need to activate it. So we'll do source dot venv bin and then activate, and then we need to install the uh, dependencies. So we'll do pip install dash r requirements dot text. Okay, dependencies are installed. And really, at this point, we can run the script. Now, if we try to do it, we'll do python3 main.py, you'll see that we have an error, we need to include the following arguments dash l or dash t or and dash t dash l is for the log file location and dash T is for the type. So if you're using Docker, you'll do uh, zero. It's kind of confusing, I know. I didn't, I used numbers for the type. So zero corresponds to Docker, one corresponds to Space Acres, two corresponds to the advanced CLI. Uh, sorry, that's just how I built it. Uh, so you'll do like dash T and then number one if you are using Space Acres. But I'm using Docker, and I need to get my Docker container ID so I know where my log files are. So if you're using Docker, what you need to do is uh, just do docker ps dash dash no trunk, and that will give you your full container ID. You'll copy that, and you're going to want to do sudo. And because you're using sudo inside a virtual environment, you need to specify the Python executable that you're going to be using. So we're going to do dot venv because that's where our virtual environment is. Dot bin and then uh, Python three. Yes, Python three. And then you're going to want to do main.py because that's what we're running. And then dash l for log file. And Docker logs are in slash var slash lib slash Docker slash containers slash uh, that I think uh, maybe not container let me see that let's go for it. containers and then the docker container ID again dash json dot log <laughs> I know that's kind of long 
And then now we need to do the type. So dash T and zero was doc. So let's see, uh, no such file. So I think it might be actually containers, docker slash Okay, my mic cut out because it's terrible. Uh, but uh, as you can see, uh, I needed containers in there for it to work. I just also noticed that I'm using a, a microphone that I didn't want to. So I'm going to switch microphones and hopefully that didn't change the video too much. Uh, but anyways, so as you can see, sudo uh, python3, I actually had to specify because I'm using sudo, main.py is what we're running, dash l, that's where the log file is, dash t, we're running it with docker, and we can see it pulls the operating system, it pulls my CPU, it pulls my platform, which was docker, plot times, four disks, and we're at 376 sectors. And this is going to be my submission UUID. So if I want to find that UUID, later on I can actually uh, just look for that. So we can just kind of remember it starts with 805. I can now, would I like to continue? So if you press N, it's not going to submit it. You can just get your plot speed just by uh, looking at that. Uh, but if you press Enter or Y, it's going to submit it. And then if we open up uh, our Firefox, and we go here. Remember, it started with 805. 805, and we can see our everything's been listed here. So now we've successfully reported our plot speed. So that's three. A, a, a sector is getting finished in three minutes. So that's actually kind of bad. Uh, but that's also because I'm running a lot of other things on this. Um, server i've got some space mesh stuff that's actually actively doing things right now so um, that's actually probably pretty good considering uh, so i'll take it um, so that's how you would do it with docker uh, if you don't have docker it's very similar uh, you just would specify you know if it's the event cli you would specify uh, t is two uh, that's the number two and if you have Space Acres, you can actually find, let me bring up Space Acres here real quick. Uh, I'm going to do another separate video for Space Acres, but I'm just going to add it now. So I have it actually listed here. Um, if you want to find your, if you want to find the directory where your logs are, it's this listed right here and actually let me include let me just let me just do the space acres uh one right now okay so ba, 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 let's move this one over here so basically what's happening here is i've got my Git bash terminal. I know this isn't going to help a lot. of. I, I'm going to do this again, but with like command prompt and stuff. But right now I have git bash installed. Uh, I'm at the location where my script is installed. And I know I have a virtual environment. Yeah, it's still in .venv, but I don't think that I need to actually uh, run it. I think I just do source dot venv scripts activate okay so it's a little different for windows we use scripts instead of bin i don't know how helpful this is going to be for people but i'm going to do it anyways uh so now we just need to i already have the uh requirements installed so we're just going to run the script and it's going to be python not python 3 for windows it's python dash log location it's going to be c colon slash slash users slash slash aj nabe slash slash app data slash slash local slash slash space ah acres and then space acres dot oh my gosh acres 
log. I'm doing this from memory. Let's see if it works. And then dash T, the type is going to be space acres, so it's one. Uh, and you know what I forgot to do? Main main.py. Okay, maybe I didn't install the uh, dependencies. pip install dash r requirements. That's weird. No module named requests found. I think it's not using, again, it's probably not using my There we go. I had to actually like specify specifically where the Python is being run from. That's annoying. Uh, but anyways, remember for like Windows, you need these double slashes to escape the slash. But we can see, I'm not going to submit this because I've already submitted it. Uh, but again, like this is basically how you would use it in Windows. It's pretty much the same thing. Space Acres, you're just uh, going into the... Uh, little um it's weird that you can't see the pop-up here but uh let me switch space acres um so this little uh let's see oh there we go so these this little hamburger icon you would click that then there's an about button that you can't see and then when you click that about button that's when you see this screen and you go to system. You'll probably be on the about, but you wanna to go to system and then you can get your log file location. Uh, so that's how you would do it with that. Okay, this is a really long video and to be honest, I'm gonna be shocked if anybody's still here. I'm going to do a dedicated Windows video for this as well. Um, and maybe I'll do an advanced CLI video, but it's pretty simple with the advanced CLI. Hopefully people start submitting this. Um, I'm thinking about adding, so, okay, let me bring up Space Acres again. So in, hold on. So in Space Acres, it actually tells you, let me get this out of here. It actually tells you kind of what your minutes per sector are. They're not, it's not totally accurate because I think it's like taking the last hour or something like that. So you can see this 5900 uh, HX, this is this, and it's saying 11.23 minutes per sector, but really uh, it's 10.2 based on all of the sectors that it's done. Uh, so it's a little bit misleading, I suppose, uh, but I'm thinking about making and you know, give me a comment if you want an ability to basically submit it through the front end. Like, let's say you know your plot speed and you want, and you know your CPU and everything. Um, you can submit it manually through the front end, or maybe those that don't want to submit it through the Python script, they want to just be able to put it in manually. Uh, let me know if you want a manual way to submit this. Like, uh, some people, they might find it useful to do it that way. I, I know there could be potentially be fake data, which is going to be frustrating. If I see anything obviously fake, I'm going to delete it. Um, and if anybody sees anything that should be deleted, just let me know, uh, and I'll go in and delete it from the back end. But hopefully people stay honest. Uh, but either way, hopefully this is helpful. I'm hoping to see some more submissions here. I'm going to be wiping this data and starting fresh here uh, soon, but I'm only wiping my own data. Don't worry if you submit something, it will stay here for good. All right, that is it. I'll see you in the next video.